uh, we have to find formula for the given graph above, uh, given that it is a polynomial that has all zeros as shown. Okay, so all the zeros are shown. It means that there are no complex zeros. Uh, and the exponent of each zero is are the least possible. Fair enough. And it passes through negative 1 and 20. Okay. So let's first write what are the roots. The roots as seen from the graph are negative 3. The points where the curve intersects the x-axis. So negative 3, 0, and 4. Negative 3, 0, and 4. But remember that the curve intersects negative 3 and 4, but it touches x equal to 0. So if it touches any, any root, it means that its multiplicity is even. So, uh, since these two intersects, so their multiplicity is odd, so and the least odd number. Why least? Because we are talking about the least possible degree, the least possible exponent. So, least multiplicity, if the multiplicity is odd, is 1. So, multiplicity, uh, multiplicity of these roots are going to be, is going to be 1. 1 and for 0 it's uh, turning and touching back so even in least even number is 2. Uh, so the function is definitely going to look like uh, the polynomial will be uh, since the roots are given so what are the factors? Factors will be we move these three things over on the left so that will be x plus 3 x because x minus 0 is just x and x minus 4. Uh, so the function is going to be uh, some constant a times x plus 3 times x minus 0 which is just x times x minus 4 and in order to find the leading coefficient we use the fact that it passes through negative 1 and 20. So all we have to do is plug in negative 1 and 20 over here. So 20 is equal to a times 3 minus 1 is 2. This is minus 1 and minus 1 minus 4 is minus 5. So this will become 20 is equal to minus 10 a which means that the value of a will be minus 2. So since uh, we got a as well, uh, so the value of the final value, the final uh, answer is going to be function fx will be negative 2 times x plus 3 times x times x minus 4. Thank you.